here we are back at Mad Dog Performance. Broken bike. Got here before the open, so hopefully I'll be able to stick around until they can finish it. Take a look here at some of the bikes. It's early morning, so not a hell of a lot of you guys here. Ah, preschool choppers. That's a place back there. Maybe they can uh, weld my oil line. All right. responsibility to yeah we'll get it straight and uh, they got the bike over there on the lift pulling that cover off so I can't be mad but I am disappointed anyway I got at least a couple hours waiting There's not a lot of people here yet it's early in the morning with any luck They'll find what they did wrong and I'll have my bike back. Maybe I can continue on my little vacation. Shortcut. Hank Williams is supposed to be over there in an hour or so. I'm going to go down to the tent. Rest a while. Maybe I'll come to the concert. Well, I didn't realize that uh, 
really today was Friday uh, this campground's only open one more day Saturday and tonight Hank Williams Jr. he's the big uh, draw here tonight it's at five and it's four now and that's one of the main reasons I came here or well one of the only good things I wanted to see him so I'll probably uh, load up on my water and stuff and walk down there and uh, try to get some video of that because uh, tomorrow Saturday there's not much and uh, no entertainment so going over the shop waiting caused me to miss all the entertainment I missed all the bikini contest and everything in the morning uh, it's been an experience my basic experience is, is uh, don't try to do this on a, don't try to drive a long ways on a Harley some people do but I sure see a lot of broke people out there man and batteries and stators like popcorn and I had a good jet bike I could have came here at 85 90 miles an hour there's 90 mile an hour speed limits out there I could have probably cut four or five hours off the trip in comfort without vibrating not leak a drop of oil and uh, never have to anything put gas in it to clean the windshield uh, that's Harley's nightmare so and plus it don't go very fast it's, it vibrates like hell it's just no good you can make some noise but who cares so I don't know right now the way I feel and everything is still valuable so uh, they get it fixed and get it fixed right uh, learn, it's a treat learn uh, treat Sturgis as a learning experience and try to take a route back home that will take me to some of these places so at least I got something to see going home it's not the same trip I planned but I'll go to some nice places and hopefully I can try to avoid that damn desert out there if I possibly can but I really like to go back to Salt Lake that was a really great campground there um, a lot of trees and stuff but if I go that way then I gotta go through that desert so it's been a fun trip well I wouldn't say fun it's been a unique trip met some really nice people which was the good thing of it I learned a lot about camping and how to you know I found out if you put your sleeping bag over the top of your tent like that that really keeps it cool you know, and these these things are great you can pour water on one of these rags and it cools your head down real fast so anyway just another little step in the journal <clears throat> I'll, you know it's a long walk for me I got this bad legs but I'll try to walk down there and and uh, see what happened and shoot some video and Hopefully we'll we'll have something good come out of this. That's all for now. See you later. Guess that's the party bus going by. Man, we ain't got nothing like that. Really? We ain't got nothing. We got shit, but mud over there. It's a big mud <laughs> hole. entertainment huh it's actually a really nice day it's not real sunny and hot and shit well I didn't feel like walking down there to see Mr. Cash but we can hear him from here a little bit Finally, uh,
better no entertainment at all. Oh, here it is morning. There, these guys are packing up. Everybody's packing up. I'm gonna try to make it into Sturgis. See what I got there in my motorcycle. Hopefully it'll be able to run or I'll trade it off for something or I don't know what, but I'm gonna head out now to the bus and start in the rain. All my rain gear is on the bike in town. Well, Saturday morning. Back here in the madness at uh, Sturgis Cycles. Looks like they got my bike pushed out. Said they put some new gears in it. Should be good. So I mean, I have to sell it and all that stuff. We will see. But uh, that's over there. Hopefully it'll be good and uh, it's gonna charge me something. I don't know. I'll have to figure out what. Everybody's going home, but hopefully if my bike's running, at least uh, I'll salvage something out of this trip. You know, another step in the saga. It rained like heck while ago. Caught me down in Sturgis. Soaked me. I had my stuff on a bike. I was inside a building. And then mud everywhere. But I think I got some water in my computer. It won't work right now, so don't have any internet. So bike still don't work. Still clattering. But at least I can drive it 40, 45 miles an hour. As long as I'm taking it slow. I'll be able to pack up all my stuff and go into town and Maybe figure out uh, what to do. A friend of mine called a while ago. I called back home trying to get some money or bus ticket or something out of here. But if I can get the bike back home, I can put another transmission in it and I still got a pretty valuable bike. But here, the guy offered me like 1500 bucks an old messed up motorcycle beautiful clouds out here it's a beautiful trip you know if I would have if I would have done it about anything but a Harley I would have had a good time but uh, I didn't here I am it's getting dark I've got a flashlight I'm going to try to get my little uh, galaxy to pick up the internet. At least I'll have something before it gets dark. See you guys later.